In de jaren 60 is de dekolonisatie van heel Afrika in volle gang. Niet toevallig is Haile Selassie dan ook op het hoogtepunt van zijn internationale roem. Een heuse Afrikaanse keizer, wie wilde die nou niet op bezoek krijgen? En zo werd hij in 1963 de eerste zwarte leider in het Witte Huis. Te gast dus bij John F. Kennedy en zijn Jackie. Twee dagen later spreekt hij de wereld toe. Het is 4 oktober 1963. Hier, in het hoofdkantoor van de Verenigde Naties, presenteert Haile Selassie zich als de woordvoerder van een bevrijd continent. Dat de koloniën steeds meer verleden tijd zijn, is stap 1. Maar we moeten verder kijken, betoogt hij. Hij roept op voor goed een einde te maken aan de ongelijke behandeling van Afrikaanse landen door het Westen. Want zolang het ene ras het andere als inferieur beschouwt, is vrede een illusie. Until the color of a man's skin is of no more significance than the color of his eyes, that until the basic human rights are equally guaranteed to all without regard to race, that until that day, the dream of lasting peace and world citizenship and the rule of international morality will remain but a fleeting illusion to be pursued but never attained. Zijn woorden van Belair leven nu nog voort. Na de dood van Selassie gebruikte Bob Marley de speech uit 1963 als songtekst voor zijn lied War. Until the philosophy which old one race superior and another inferior is finally and permanently discredited and abandoned then everywhere is war it's a war war in the east war in the west war up north war down south I miss a war, and rumors of war. Yeah, that was great words by his imperial majesty, Emperor Ida Selassie the first. That's the next thing. His imperial majesty does not accept his name without the first added to it. When he was crowned, he was crowned as king of king, lord of lords, Conquering land, the tribe of Judah, elect of God and light of this world. That was given to him. These titles, when you read in the Revelations, was given to Jesus Christ before. So that's why I said he's representing Jesus Christ on the earth. Like a, he has a power for tyranny to do so. Haile Selassie werd beschouwd als een heilige in Ethiopië. Maar dat idee kon wel wat aanmoediging gebruiken, vond de keizer. Er golden ongeschreven regels. Zo mochten normale stervelingen hem niet aankijken en zijn ministers hem niet tegenspreken. Symbool van de macht van Haile Selassie was de leeuw. Als een logo keerde het beeld van de leeuw overal terug. In de vlaggen in het geld, op de vliegtuigen, tot en met de koffiekopjes. Niet gek dat er zelfs een levende leeuw was, die bij officiële gelegenheden niet van zijn zijde week. Dit is het verhaal van Haile Selassie, een mythische leider, wiens geloof in vooruitgang zich tegen hem zou keren en uiteindelijk fataal werd.
ተከናከለው እኔ ብሎ ጁ ነው ወጣ በጣም ግልገል ይሆነች አንበሳ አምጥተው ሰጡት እዛ ቤታችን ገባ እንግዲህ ቤታችን አንድ ክፍል ቤት ነው እና ወዲያውም ተደረገ ጣውላ ነው ቤቱ ጣውላ እንዲሁን ተደረገና እንዳይቀዘቀዘው ሲቪንቱ ከዛች ልክ እንትን ተመታ ይሄ በአርማታ ብረት ተቀበረና ታሰረች መጀመሪያ በገመር ነበርች በኋላ ያደገች ያደገች ሲመጣ ያው ጉልበት ያመጣ ሲመጣ በብረት ታሰረ እንደገና የሆነ ዲሽ ነገር አለ ሽንቱን ምት መጣቀም ካለበት እንደዚህ በኋላ በኩል ንምሽ ነው ከዛ እኛ እዚህ አንዱ እዚህ ጋር ተኛለን ሌላ ሊሲ ወለድ ዛጋ ይጨመራል ሌላ ሊሲ ወለድ ዛጋ ይጨመራል ሁሉ ከልጅ እና ተበካ ከአንበሳው ስራ አልጠፋ ስለዚህ በሆነ ምንስ እንደው ጠፋተን ባጠፋ የሆነ ነገርም ቢሆን አንበሳው ጋር ነው አስሮኝ እንትኑ ስቆልፎ ቢኝ ነው ምን ነው ያስፈራ ያብሮኝ አደገ ነው እና አይነካኝም ቤተሰብ ነው ምክንያቱም ብዙ ጊዜ ያብረን ሰለምን ኖር ያው ቤት ውስጥ ተፋሳ ተፋ ቤት ውስጥ ቆልፎ ብኝ ሄደ የቤተ መንግስቱ ሆነ ኤቭሪ ሆነ የሚወጥበት አቅ የሚወጥበት አካባቢ በመሙሉ ተበቃም ያደርጉላቸው ክብር ዘበኞች ናቸው ስለዚህ የአንበሳውን ከሰጡት በኋላ እንደዚህ አንበሳ ዘም ነገር ይሁዳ ይሄ ዘላው ነው ጆዳ የሚሉት የሳቸው የራሳቸው የሆነ ፊገር ነው ያላቸው የክብር ዘበኛ ሲሰለፍ ያው ልብሳቸው እንደርቆት አሰፈተው በሰልፍ ከመሄዳቸው በፊት ሰራዊት እንደ ወታደሩ ኳላ ሆኖ መጀመሪያ አንበሳው ያን ሆይ ጋ ለክ ሰራዊቱ ይዱ ሰላም ታሰጡ በብረት ሰላም በል ብሎ ለጃኑ ሰላም ታሰሰው አንበሳው ብድግ ይላል Heile Selassie was reislustig, zoals een zelfbenoemd ambassadeur van Afrika betaamt. Overal ter wereld werd hij warm ontvangen, maar nergens was het onthaal zo overrompelend als op Jamaica op 21 april 1966. The most rousing, boisterous, tumultuous welcome ever given to any visiting or local celebrity, His Imperial Majesty Haile Selassie I, Emperor of Ethiopia, arrived. The crowd erupted into a frenzy of rejoicing, eager to engulf the emperor with their affection. Het Rastafari geloof was destijds een plaatselijke religieuze cultus in opkomst. Later zouden de Rastafari's onlosmakelijk verbonden worden aan de muziekstijl roots reggae. Zij zagen in Haile Selassie de Messias. Read your Bible a chapter a day. 
to keep the devil away, keep in a good mood. Marcus Garvey, he was a Jamaican, but he migrated to America and he formed this black, black power organization, Black People, UNIA, which was a back to Africa movement. We um, believe he was a prophet too. And during his campaign, he had prophesied that when you see a king crowned in Africa, black people redemption draw it nigh. That was his Marcus Garvey has spoken about his majesty's ascension. And uh, in 1930, it, it was manifested and his master became, as we mentioned before, kings of kings and lord of lords and conqueror land of the tribe of Judah. And we ourselves come to the realization that his majesty plays a part in the divinity of God. We re realize that through the Bible, because of his titles, we believe that Jesus Christ revealed in His Majesty, and Jesus Christ is the only name on the heaven and earth where man shall be saved. Haile Selassie, naar verluid een afstammeling van koning Salomo en als tiener al gouverneur van een provincie, was ter dege voorbereid op de troon. Toen hij werd gekroond in 1930, was dat een mediagebeurtenis avant la lettre. Hoogwaardigheidsbekleders uit alle uithoeken van de wereld waren daarbij aanwezig. Haile Selassie geldt als een dictator die geen enkel tegengeluid duldde. Maar zelfs zijn grootste tegenstanders van Weleer prijzen hem nu. Zijn hogere doel was Ethiopië uit de middeleeuwen naar de 20e eeuw te brengen. En dat is hem gelukt. Niettemin kwam hij gewelddadig aan zijn einde. In 1975 werd hij in opdracht van zijn opvolger Mengistu vermoord. Maar pas in 2000 kreeg hij een staatsbegrafenis. This was attending the burial service of the emperor. You know after he's been dug out and so forth. Jaren duurde het voordat zijn stoffelijk overschot was gevonden. Uiteindelijk bleek dat onder de betonnen vloer van de wc van zijn oude paleis te liggen. Het is heel ironisch. En eigenlijk was Mangusto op het top van het. Dus dat betekent dat het een beetje bizar is. Het was allowed to be uh, buried in, in this uh, cathedral, um, um, waar hij eigenlijk al een you know, there was a place that already prepared. There was a tomb prepared yeah, for you. Yeah. Ah, the emperor, the empress. So this one is, I think, the, the emperor, and that was the empress. Amazing. It's amazing that they have now made it uh, available for people to come and see it at court. Or usually it would not have been allowed. Let's read it. Uh. Oh my God, it's amazing. It's, it's actually um, Saint Mary with Jesus and two uh, angels. And beneath, at the foot of, of Mary, we see on the left, we see the emperor. And on the right, I think uh, we see uh, uh, Menon, uh, the empress. When you start putting him in the same frame of, uh, of Mary or something, that I think uh, goes a little bit too far. But uh, now that it has happened, it is a historical and controversial interesting piece. 
essentially we are judging him with the late 20th century and early 21st century values and knowledge to a, a system that actually was in the 19th century. He's caught between these two things. So some of the things we criticize him today, um, even a hundred years ago, uh, may not have been so strange. Latere machthebbers hebben er alles aan gedaan om de sporen van Haile Selassie uit te wissen. Maar dat is onbegonnen werk, zolang er nog steeds mensen leven die de keizer van dichtbij hebben meegemaakt. In een van de vele vervallen golfplatenhuisjes in Addis Ababa treft Habtamo een generatiegenoot van zijn vader. Mamo die ruim 30 jaar werkte als bediende voor Haile Selassie. En dat is het de rugaas mamo. De nano toy. En de men nood. De nano toy. En de men nood. Salam no toy. En de nou. Salam no torso. ጋለ <laughs> In Chachamene, 250 kilometer ten zuiden van de hoofdstad, ligt een lap grond die Haile Selassie in 1955 beschikbaar stelde aan nakomelingen van slaven die wilden terugkeren naar Afrika. Op dit moment leven daar alleen Rastafari's, ongeveer 400 in getal. Terug naar Afrika, dat was hun grote droom. Where we are standing now is the border of the land grant that his imperial majesty had given to the black people of the West in 1955. Yeah? And uh, it stretches from both sides of the road. 
800 meters on this side, going that side, east, and 800 meters going west. This road is to Addis Ababa. When I came, it was six meters. Eh? No, it is. No, it is 12 meters. Eh? Yes, I. Yes, yes, I. Come on. Yes, I. Bafa. Great. Bafa. Jesus Christ's transportation was a donkey. When we went through Nazareth, through Jerusalem, they say, Hosanna. The next day, they say, Crucify him, Jesus. A proclamation was made by the emperor of giving lands to the black people of the Western world for his gratitude to them of their participation in the war against the Italian invasion. Yeah, he opened the gates, man. It's, nobody else did it. That's why he's called Kadamawi the first. He did so many things for the first time, you know, and it works because not only in um, Ethiopia you have people of the diaspora now, but all over Africa, maybe as diplomats and so on. But for the open the gate and giving land, his master is the only person that has done so. And we pay out our gratitude to him by not leaving. That is the main thing, you know, giving the land is one, but uh, the task and the uphills that faces us here over the years, it has to be lion to live in Zion. You have to be a lion to live in Zion. It doesn't take no cat and puss. No, you have to be strong. Jamaica is my birthplace. I choose Ethiopia as my motherland. Um, Ethiopia as a history, you know, and also future. Yeah, this is in 1981. This is Sister Joan. She's still here. He passed away. He passed away. And this is me. This is Brother Bunny. And this is Brother Desai, the husband of Sister Joan and his first son. Just me again. I always like to have chicks, you know, so uh, she's still with me. The golden days. <laughs> I took my suitcase, two of them. I like beautiful clothes, you know. But at that more time, you know, time was hard after the little sense you bring. Because most of us who come here, we don't come with any money in our hands much. You know, so whenever that is finished, we have to survive. And, and the suitcase decreases. <laughs> yeah, and gradually the suitcase becomes empty. We sell the suitcase too. We had a hard time. I had two babies at the time, and a wife. I left them behind uh, with the intention for them to come later. After the uh, two years, they came, and it was satisfying for, to the wife, so she decided to go back with them. She was willing to come, but she was not used to this type of thing. So we have to go to the river to catch water. Uh, and to make sure you turn on your top. So the sacrificial life, it was, it was not suitable for her to, as a woman. I made a mistake for bringing her too quick, you know, because we were just, I wasn't settled at that moment. And you remarried, right? Yeah, uh, my first wife, we love each other and thing, but you can get a next wife, you know. You can't get a next Ethiopia. Until bigotry and prejudice, malicious and inhuman self-interest have been replaced by understanding and tolerance and goodwill, until all Africans stand up and speak as free human beings, equal in the eyes of all men, as they are in the eyes of heaven, until that day, the African continent will not know peace. In his speech, Klinkt Haile Selassie so strijdlustig. Afrika was ondergewaardeerd en miskend, zo betoogde hij. En dat moest maar eens afgelopen zijn. Eén groot pleidooi voor gelijkwaardigheid. Maar had de keizer in eigen land zijn zaakjes wel op orde? Tafari Wassen was begin jaren 70 persofficier bij het Ethiopische ministerie van Informatie. Verantwoordelijk voor journalisten uit het buitenland. 
Hij speelde een cruciale rol in de geschiedenis van zijn land door op een ochtend niet op kantoor te verschijnen. At least 50.000 and possibly more than 100.000 people have died from the famine. This Ethiopian famine, unknown until now, is certainly the worst the world has experienced since Biafra. I was out of my office on the day that uh, Jonathan Dimbleby came came to see us to get uh, travel permits and press pass, uh, which was provided by my department. So when he found out Arthur was not there, he went directly to the Minister of Information. And by the time I arrived in the afternoon, he has gone to Warlow. They are skinny and bony, malnourished, very weak. Most of them cannot walk. How many of these children are likely to die if they don't get more help, more assistance, more aid? 30% will die. 30% will die. Without doubt? Yes. The um, governor of Orlo called the minister and told him, what's wrong with you? Are you mad? And the minister says, why? And he said, well, there are people dying in the streets. And you are sending a camera crew, a foreign camera crew, to, to, to record it. Had I been in my office, I would have been forced to call the governor of uh, Wollo and ask him, I've got a journalist coming over, uh, would you receive him? Because that is that, a procedure. That, that's a protocol. A pro protocol standard. It was a shock. It was unbelievable. It was unbelievable. I sometimes think it shocked us more than just um, European being shocked. It's not just a famine, but it's a whole vision we have of Ethiopia as a bread basket of Africa. Famine, once anonymous with India, China, and so forth, now exclusively became Ethiopian. How is it that we weren't able to hear uh, such tragedy? And I myself come from Wollo, so yes, so to make it even worse. Did the emperor know about the famine? Um, we had uh, the general feeling that the emperor knew everything, but I've had uh, occasion to know that um, the, 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 the emperor did not know everything. Whether the, he was not informed of war law or not, that is another thing. But you should not be surprised if he was not informed. የሻፍት ኢትዮጵያ ውስጥ ለመጀመሪያ ጊዜ ተሰራው የአማርኛ ፊልም ነው ሂልተን ሆቴል ነው እና አሁን ባሁን ሰዓት ሂልተን ሆቴል ሴኩሪቲ ወኝ የምሰራበት ሆቴል ነው ይሄ እሱ ማይ ፋዘር አምሳልቃ ገብረይ እሱ ማኩሪያ የሻፍት ወይ ወጋ አርቲስት ወጋ የሆነ ጋቱ ዋው በሴኩሪቲ እና ሳገለግል ወደ ሁለት አመት ሊሆን ነው ነው በዚህ ሆቴል ውስጥ በትልቅ ሆቴል ውስጥ ይሄንን ስራ ለመስራት እድሉን ስለአገኘው በጣም አመሰግናለሁ በጣም እርግጠኛ መሆነብትና በጣም ደስ ያለ ደሞ በዚህ ቦታ ላይ እንግዶቹን በመያዝ አባቴ አንበሳውን እዚህ ጋር በማምጣት በሰራበት ከ40 አመት በኋላ እኔ እዚህ ቦታ ላይ ሆኜ ደሞ አሁን ስራ እየሰራው ነው نصر بشتا يا زوان بسو بجيك زي نصروال نصروال ام بسوم زي تاموال 
ሐምሊ 2074 ላይ አንበሳው ሞተ እና ሲሞት የሚገርመ በቃባቲ በጣም ነው ያለቀሰው በጣም እና ያ ፋሚሊ በሙሉ ያደገው በዛ ባንበሳ ገቢ ነውና የመጀመራው ልጁ ነው ከዛ በኋላ እንደውም እድር ጥሩም ባተነፍቶ ነው የገብሪ መጀመራው ልጁ ሞቷል ተባለ ህብረት እድር የለደር አሽደር የሚባል አለ ሰባት አባቲ ሞት የካምስ ከም በኋላና በቃ የተሰማኝ ስሜት ለናግራ አልችልም በቃ Het was alsof het lot van Haile Selassie was verbonden met het lot van de leeuw. Tien jaar na zijn speech uit 1963 was zijn macht in eigen land danig geslonken. Hij had geloofd in de educatie van zijn volk. Maar vooral zij die nu wijzer waren geworden en beter wisten, door studie in het buitenland bijvoorbeeld, pikte het verouderde regime van de alleenheerser niet meer. De onvrede was groot en groeide. Maar opstand is één ding, afzetten toch een ander. Want hoe zet je een heilige af? Mengistu, de leider van de communistische beweging, de Dirk, besefte als geen ander dat daar grove middelen voor nodig waren. En die grove middelen kreeg hij in zijn schoot geworpen in de vorm van The Hidden Hunger, de film van Jonathan Dimbleby. In de eerste maand of zo... There was an avalanche of concern. Many Westerners, government, were rather uh, shocked and most of them came aggressively at the beginning in how to react to the film. In reality, in within two or three months, the famine was contained. And I think the story was about to die, except there was a rumbling of revolution in the country. Teachers were asking for payment. Um, they were uh, rebelling against the policy, the new policy introduced by, by Minister of Education. Petrol costs increased and the taxi drivers also stopped. This was there and it was going on. So. What a better thing to get than a, a film like Jonathan Dimbleby to accuse the government of Haile Selassie. The, the Dirk showed it on television as a Christmas present. He says, this year we bring you as a Christmas gift a documentary that will shock you. And we have also invited not only you, but also the emperor to see it. This was announced the previous day on television. So basically, all Ethiopia was alerted. So every single television available was on at that night. Then after that, a team of um, land rovers with generators were um, prepared to show the film in the countryside with a projector. It reached most people who could actually be of any resistance to, 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 to the military. The film was shown and it automatically changed their attitude towards the Haile Selassie government. Basically, they, the added to it was the emperor in a banquet. Guests often are entertained at formal dinners, served on a banquet table resplendent with fine linen, china, gold and silver. VIP, probably a head of state, I would assume, some kind of head of state. And, uh, you know, the royal family, the royal... Uh, um, waiters and so forth in a very, you know, showy uh, uniform, um, you know, silver plates, gold uh, things and so forth. Um, so the palace thing. Well, we have, it was a rather crude one. I didn't think it was really necessary to add that. 
and then the other one is standing and feeding his dogs. He was a dog lover, and uh, so he was, this was interjected between the bodies of people who were uh, who were dying or dead, and or lined up for food, and so it, it made a, a big impact. I don't think there was anybody who could go against that kind of thing. You, you are a proud country, you felt that uh, you could feed the world and suddenly you, you, you see your own people starving like that. Well, the emperor had to answer for that. And his answer was to be removed. Well, it certainly brought down the emperor, definitely. There's nobody behind him. No more. ለኛ ታመልካጅ <laughs> Yeah, no. I'm not eating it. 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 I'm not e
Je tu. His Majesty, he can pass away, but he could transfigurate. A lot of great men disappeared. You know, Jesus Christ too. Excuse me for asking a silly question, but if His Imperial Majesty disappeared, where is he now? He went up to sit upon the, the, the right hand of God, to make his enemies his footstool. So when Jesus Christ comes back to the earth, you will see not only Moses and Elijah, you see Moses too. He will be there. He will be there, and I will be there. Haile Selassie stierf 40 jaar geleden, maar de woorden van zijn speech uit 1963 klinken nog altijd. En Desmond Martin heeft daar wellicht een grotere rol in gespeeld dan hij zelf vermoedt. Want hoe kreeg Bob Marley in Kingston de speech in handen, zodat hij de tekst kon vereeuwigen in een song? Beautiful book. This is this is my submitting by the heads of state. Like Tito of Yugoslavia, even great Nixon uh, of America. This is a speech. A speech about war. Uh, when we came to Ethiopia, these books were being sold on the streets uh, by Ethiopians because they want to get rid of everything that they imagine still out of the mouse by force too. And so there, it was on the road, I bought them for 50 birds, I bought a lot of these books and I sent them to Jamaica with brethren who comes and uh, it was also a part of business. So Bob might have reached out from, maybe from not my angle, but we, it was distributed from Ethiopia. So the, the, when I observe, oh, he, he, he chose the words from the speech, it's wonderful. Yeah, it's professional, so let us give thanks to Bob also to put it in music of what his mother has said. Mm? And they are wonderful words. Under the color of a man's skin is of no more significance with the color of his eyes. I've got to say one. But until the basic human rights are equally guaranteed to all, without regard to race, that until that day, the dream of lasting peace and world citizenship and the rule of international morality will remain but fleeting illusion to be pursued but never attained. And until the ignoble and upper regime that both our brothers in Angola must be noble and unhappy regimes that hold our brothers in Angola and Mozambique and in South Africa in subhuman bondage have been toppled and destroyed until bigotry and prejudice, malicious and inhuman self-interest. The African continent will not know peace. We Africans will fight for the victory, and we know that we shall win, as we're confident in the victory of good over evil. We know we shall win. We are confident in the victory of good over evil.
ቃባቲ በጣም ነው ያለቀሰው በጣም እና ያ ፋሚሊ በሙሉ ያደገው በዛ ባንበሳ ገቢ ነውና የመጀመራው ልጅ ነው ከዛ በኋላ እንደውም እድር ጥሩምባ ተነፍቶ ነው የገብሬ የመጀመራው ልጅ ሞቶ አልተባለ ህብረት እድር የለደራ ሽድር የሚባል አለ ሰባት አባቲ ሞት የካምስ ከም በኋላና በቃ የተሰማኝ ስሜት ለነግር አልችልም በቃ Het was alsof het lot van Haile Selassie was verbonden met het lot van de leeuw. Tien jaar na zijn speech uit 1963 was zijn macht in eigen land danig geslonken. Hij had geloofd in de educatie van zijn volk. Maar vooral zij die nu wijzer waren geworden en beter wisten, door studie in het buitenland bijvoorbeeld, pikten het verouderde regime van de alleenheerser niet meer. De onvrede was groot en groeide. Maar opstand is één ding, afzetten toch een ander. Want hoe zet je een heilige af? Mengistu, de leider van de communistische beweging, de Dirk, besefte als geen ander dat daar grove middelen voor nodig waren. En die grove middelen kreeg hij in zijn schoot geworpen in de vorm van The Hidden Hunger, de film van Jonathan Dimbleby. In the first month or so, There was an avalanche of concern. Many Westerners, government, were rather shocked and most of them came aggressively at the beginning in how to react to the film. In reality, in within two or three months, the famine was contained. And I think the story was about to die, except There was a rumbling of revolution in the country. Teachers were asking for payment. Um, they were uh, rebelling against a policy, a new policy introduced by, by the Ministry of Education. Petrol costs increased and the taxi drivers also stopped. This was there and it was going on. So. What a better thing to get than a, a film like Jonathan Dimbleby to accuse the government of Haile Selassie. The, the Dirk showed it on television as a Christmas present. He says, this year we bring this, says, why? And he said, well, there are people dying in the streets. And you are sending a camera crew, a foreign camera crew, to, to, to record it. Had I been in my office, I would have been forced to call the governor of uh, Wolo and ask him, I've got a journalist coming over, uh, would you receive him? Because that is that, a procedure. That, that's a protocol. A pr protocol standard. It was a shock. It was unbelievable. It was unbelievable. I sometimes think it shocked us more than just um, European being shocked. It's not just a famine, but it's a whole vision we have of Ethiopia as a bread basket of Africa. Famine, once anonymous with India, China, and so forth, now exclusively became Ethiopian. How is it that we weren't able to hear uh, such tragedy? And I myself come from Wolo, so yes, so to make it even worse. Did the emperor know about the famine? Um, we had uh, the general feeling that the emperor knew everything, but I've had uh, occasion to know that um, the, 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 the the emperor did not know everything. Whether the, he was not informed of war law or not, that is another thing. But you should not be surprised if he was not informed.
የሻፍት ኢትዮጵያ ውስጥ ለመጀመሪያ ጊዜ ተሰራው የአማርኛ ፊልም ነው ሂልተን ሆቴል ነው እና አሁን ባሁን ሰዓት ሂልተን ሆቴል ሴኩሪቲ ወኝ የምሰራበት ሆቴል ነው እሱ ማይ ፋዘር አምሳለቃ ገብረይ ስማኩሪያ የሻፍት ወይ ወጋ አርቲስት ወጋ የሆነ ጋቱ ዋው በሴኩሪቲ الناس አገለግሉ ወደ ሁለት አመት ሊሆን ነው the dog showed it on television as a christmas present He says this year we bring you as a christmas gift a documentary that will shock you and we have also invited not only you but also the emperor to see it this was announced the previous day on television so basically all ethiopia was alerted so every single television available was on at that night then after that a team of um, land rovers with generators were um, prepared to show the film in the countryside with a projector it reached most people who could actually be of any resistance to 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 to, to the military the film was shown and it automatically changed their attitude towards the Haile Selassie government. Ihenne minno zina hi ahun urgent ifelegal bilen. Just na antem tfelgubet film ne. Basically they the added to it was the emperor in a banquet. Guests often are entertained at formal dinners served on a banquet table resplendent with fine linen, china, gold and silver. VIP probably a head of state I would assume some kind of head of state and uh, you know the royal family the royal uh, um, waiters and so forth in a very you know showy uh, uniform um, you know silver plates gold uh, things and so forth um, so the palace thing well we have it was a rather crude one i didn't think it was really necessary to add that and then the other one is standing and feeding his dogs he was a dog lover and uh, so he used to, this was interjected between the bodies of people who were uh, who were dying or dead and or lined up for food and so it, it made a, a big impact I don't think there was anybody who could go against that kind of thing. You you are a proud country, you felt that uh, you could feed the world and suddenly you 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 see your own people starving like that. Well, the emperor had to answer for that. And his answer was to be removed. Well, kreeg hij in zijn schoot geworpen in de vorm van The Hidden Hunger, de film van Jonathan Dimbleby. In the first uh, month or so there was an avalanche of concern many westerners government were rather uh, shocked and most of them came aggressively at the beginning in how to react to the film in reality in within 2 or 3 months the famine was contained and i think the story was about to die except there was a rumbling of revolution in the country teachers were asking for payment um they were uh, rebelling against the policy the new policy introduced by by minister of education petrol cost increased and the taxi drivers also stopped this was there and it was going on so it, what a better thing to get than a, a film like Jonathan Dimbleby to accuse the government of Haile Selassie
the, the Dirk showed it on television as a Christmas present. He says, this year, we bring you as a Christmas gift, a documentary that will shock you. And we have also invited not only you, but also the emperor to see it. This was announced the previous day on television. So basically, all Ethiopia was alerted. So every single television available was on at that night. Then after that, a team of um, Land Rovers with generators were um, prepared to show the film in the countryside with a projector. It reached most people who could actually be of any resistance to, 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 to the military. The film was shown and it automatically changed their attitude towards the Haile Selassie government. Basically, they, the added to it was the emperor in a banquet. Guests often are entertained at formal dinners, served on a banquet table resplendent with fine linen, china, gold and silver. VIP. Haile Selassie, naar verluid een afstammeling van koning Salomo en als tiener al gouverneur van een provincie, was ter degen voorbereid op de troon. Toen hij werd gekroond in 1930, was dat een mediagebeurtenis avant la lettre. Hoogwaardigheidsbekleders uit alle uithoeken van de wereld waren daarbij aanwezig. Haile Selassie geldt als een dictator die geen enkel tegengeluid dulde. Maar zelfs zijn grootste tegenstanders van Weleer prijzen hem nu. Zijn hogere doel was Ethiopië uit de middeleeuwen naar de 20e eeuw te brengen. En dat is hem gelukt. Niettemin kwam hij gewelddadig aan zijn einde. In 1975 werd hij in opdracht van zijn opvolger Mengistu vermoord. Maar pas in 2000 kreeg hij een staatsbegrafenis. This was attending the burial service of the emperor. You know, after he's been dug out and so forth. Jaren duurde het voordat zijn stoffelijk overschot was gevonden. Uiteindelijk bleek dat onder de betonnen vloer van de wc van zijn oude paleis te liggen. It's very ironic. And actually, Mangusto was on top of it. Uh, so it means that <laughs> a bit bizarre, but anyway. It was allowed to be uh, buried in, in this uh, cathedral um, um, where he had actually already, you know, there was a place already prepared. There was a tomb prepared yeah, for yeah. him. Ah, the emperor, the empress. So this one is, I think, the, the emperor, and that was the empress, amazing. It's amazing that they have now made it uh, available for people to come and see it at court, or usually it would not have been allowed. Let's read it. Uh, oh my God, it's amazing. The little fence you bring, but most of us who come here, we don't come with any money in our hands, much. You know, so whenever that is finished, we have to survive. And, and the suitcase decreases. <laughs> yeah, and gradually the suitcase becomes empty, we sell the suitcase too. We had a hard time.
I had two babies at the time, and a wife. I left them behind, uh, the, the intention for them to come later. After the uh, two years, they came, and it was satisfying for, to the wife, so she decided to go back with them. She was willing to come, but she was not used to this type of thing. We have to go to the river to catch water. Uh, and to make sure you turn on your top. So the sacrificial life, it was, it was not suitable for her to, as a woman. I made a mistake for bringing her too quick, you know, because we were, I wasn't settled at that moment. And you remarried, right? Yeah, uh, my first wife, we love each other and thing, but you can get a next wife, you know. You can't get the next Ethiopia. Until bigotry and prejudice, malicious and inhuman self-interest have been replaced by understanding and tolerance and goodwill, until all Africans stand up and speak as free human beings, equal in the eyes of all men, as they are in the eyes of heaven, until that day, the African continent will not know peace. In zijn speech klinkt Haile Selassie zo strijdlustig. Afrika was ondergewaardeerd en miskend, zo betoogde hij. En dat moest maar eens afgelopen zijn. Eén groot pleidooi voor gelijkwaardigheid. Maar had de keizer in eigen land zijn zaakjes wel op orde? Tafari Wassen was begin jaren zeventig persofficier bij het Ethiopische ministerie van Informatie. Verantwoordelijk voor journalisten uit het buitenland. Hij speelde een cruciale rol in de geschiedenis van zijn land door op een ochtend niet op kantoor te verschijnen. At least 50.000 and possibly more than 100.000 people have died from the famine. This Ethiopian famine, unknown until now, is certainly the worst the world has experienced since Biafra. I was out of my office on the day that uh, Jonathan Dimbleby came came to see us to get uh, travel permits and press pass, uh, which was provided by my department. So when he found out I was not there, he went directly to the Minister of Information. And by the time I arrived in the afternoon, he has gone to Warlo. <laughs> ስለዚህ በሆነ ምንስ እንደው ጣፋተን ባጣፋ የሆነ ነገርም ቢሆን አንበሳው ጋር ነው አስሮኝ እንትኑ ስቆልፎ ቢኝም ምን ነው ያስፈራ ያብሮኝ አደገ ነው እና አይነካኝም ቤተሰብ ነው ምክንያቱም ብዙ ጊዜ ያብርን ስለምን ኖር ያው ቤት ውስጥ ጣፋ ሳጣፋ ቤት ውስጥ ስቆልፎ ቢኝ ይሄዳል የቤተ መንግስቱ ሆነ ኤቭሪ የሆነ የሚወጥበት አቅ የሚወጥበት አካባቢ በሙሉ ጠበቃ የሚያደርጉላቸው ክብር ዘበኞች ናቸው ስለዚህ የአንበሳውን ከሰጡት በኋላ እንደዚህ አንበሳ ዘመነ ገድ ይሁዳ ይሄ ዘላይ ሆኖ ጆዳ የሚሉት የሳቸው የራሳቸው የሆነ ፊገር ነው ያላቸው የክብር ዘበኛ ሲሰለፍ ያው ልብሳቸው እንደርቆት አሰፈተው በሰልፍ ከመሄዳቸው በፊት ሰራዊት ወንድ ወታደሩ ኳላ ሆኖ መጀመሪያ አንበሳው ያን ሆይ ጋር ለክ ሰራዊቱ ይዱ ሰላም ታሰጡ በብራ ሰላም በል ብሎ ለጃኑ ሰላም ታሰሰ ሰው አንበሳው ብድቅ ይላል Haile Selassie was reislustig, zoals een zelfbenoemd ambassadeur van Afrika betaamt. Overal ter wereld werd hij warm ontvangen, maar nergens was het onthaal zo overrompelend als op Jamaica op 21 april 1966. The most rousing, boisterous, tumultuous welcome ever given to any visiting or local celebrity, His Imperial Majesty Haile Selassie I, Emperor of Ethiopia, arrived. The crowd erupted into a frenzy of rejoicing, eager to engulf the emperor with their affection. Het Rastafari geloof was destijds een plaatselijke religieuze cultus in opkomst. Later zouden de Rastafari's onlosmakelijk verbonden worden aan de muziekstijl roots reggae. Zij zagen in Haile Selassie de Messias. Ik 
read your Bible a chapter a day. You keep the devil away. You keep in a good mood. Marcus Garvey, he was a Jamaican, but he migrated to America and he formed this black, black power organization, Black People, UNIA, which was a back to Africa movement. We um, believe he was a prophet too. And during his campaign, he had prophesied that when you see a king. It is a historical and controversial, interesting piece. Essentially, we are judging him with the late 20th century and early 21st century values and knowledge to a, a system that actually was in the 19th century. He's caught between these two things. So some of the things we criticize him today, um, even a hundred years ago, uh, may not have been so strange. Latere machthebbers hebben er alles aan gedaan om de sporen van Haile Selassie uit te wissen. Maar dat is onbegonnen werk, zolang er nog steeds mensen leven die de keizer van dichtbij hebben meegemaakt. In een van de vele vervallen golfplatenhuisjes in Addis Ababa treft Habtamo een generatiegenoot van zijn vader. Mamo, die ruim 30 jaar werkte als bediende voor Haile Selassie. And that's ነው <laughs> <laughs> I would have been forced to call the governor of uh, Wolo and ask him, I've got a journalist coming over, uh, would you receive him? That Because is that, a procedure. That, that's a protocol. A pro protocol standard. It was a shock. It was unbelievable. It was unbelievable. I sometimes think it shocked us more than just um, European being shocked. It's not just a famine, but it's a whole vision we have of Ethiopia as a bread basket of Africa. Famine, once anonymous with India, China, and so forth, now exclusively became Ethiopia. How is it that we weren't able to hear uh, such tragedy? And I myself come from Wolo, so yes, so to make it even worse. Did the emperor know about the famine? Um, we had uh, the general feeling that the emperor knew everything. But I've had uh, occasion to know that um, the, 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 the emperor did not know everything. Whether the, he was not informed of Wolo or not, that is another thing. But you should not be surprised 
if he was not informed. ሻፍት <laughs> ሴኩሪቲ ነሳ ገለግል ወደ ሁለት አመት ሊሆን ነው ነው በዚህ ሆቴል ውስጥ በትልቅ ሆቴል ውስጥ ይሄን ስራ ለመስራት እድሉን ስለአገኘው በጣም አመሰግናለሁ በጣም እርግጠኛ መሆንበትና በጣም ደስ ያለ ደሞ በዚህ ቦታ ላይ እንግዶች በሰራበት ከ40 አመት በኋላ እኔ እዚህ ቦታ ላይ ሆኜ ደሞ አሁን ስራ እየሰራው ነው ነሰር በሽታ ያዝሆን በሰው በጀግዚህ ነስሯል ነስሯል አንበሰውም እዚህ ታሟል ሐምሊ 2 19 70 አራት ላይ አንበሳው ሞተ እና ሲሞት የሚገርመ በቃባቲ በጣም ነው ያለቀሰው በጣም እና ያ ፋሚሊ በሙሉ ያደገው በዛ ባንበሳ ገቢ ነውና የመጀመራው ልጁ ነው ከዛ በኋላ እንደውም እድር ጥሩምባ ተነፍቶ ነው የገብሬ መጀመራው ልጁ ሞቷል ተባለ ህብረት እድር የለደራ ሽድር የሚባል አለ ሰባት አባቲ ሞት የካምስ ከም በኋላና በቃ የተሰማኝ ስሜት ለናግራ አልችልም በቃ Het was alsof het lot van Haile Selassie was verbonden met het lot van de leeuw Tien jaar na zijn speech uit 1963 was zijn macht in eigen land danig geslonken. Hij had geloofd in de educatie van zijn volk. Maar vooral zij die nu wijzer waren geworden en beter wisten, door studie in het buitenland bijvoorbeeld, pikte het verouderde regime van de alleenheerser niet meer. De onvrede was groot en groeide. Maar opstand is één ding, afzetten toch een ander. Want hoe zet je een heilige af? Mengistu, de leider van de communistische beweging, de Dirk, besefte als geen ander dat daar grove middelen voor nodig waren. En die grove middelen kreeg hij in zijn schoot geworpen in de vorm van The Hidden Hunger, de film van Jonathan Dimbleby. In de eerste uh, month of zo. So. There was an avalanche of concern. Many Westerners, government, were rather uh, shocked and most of them came aggressively at the beginning in how to react to the film. In reality, in within two or three months, the famine was contained. And I think the story was about to die, except There was a rumbling of revolution in the country. Teachers were asking for payment. Um, they were uh, rebelling against the policy, the new policy introduced by, by Minister of Education. Petrol costs increased and the taxi drivers also stopped. This was there and it was going on. So.